This is the Louis T Network. Exclusive. Hey, either you're outside or you're in the lab room. Who else could it be? Me, Dormit. Louis T, welcome. You are in the lab room, of course. I'm your host, Lou. Thank you for joining me. Huge news in the National Football League today as a trade that has rocked the NFL Foundation has taken place at the top of the 2016 NFL Draft. We are literally three weeks away from the NFL Draft or two weeks away from the NFL Draft and this bombshell has just come down. The Tennessee Titans have traded the first overall selection in the 2016 NFL Draft to the Los Angeles Rams. The irony of this is the Rams were in this very spot two, what, three, four years ago with the Robert Griffin III trade. They were second in the draft, not first, but huge trade that sent both of those organizations in totally different directions. This is going to be a huge trade that does probably the same for both of these franchises. Let's talk about it from the Tennessee Titans perspective first. This is a huge move. They've made some shrewd moves over this offseason, going out getting DeMarco Murray and fortifying some of the parts of their team, going out and getting Ben Jones. This team has been very aggressive in free agency, and this is a, an uber aggressive move on the part of the Tennessee Titans. This is a move that could fast track this team back to playoff contention in the AFC South. Again, a very weak division that is there for the taking. Titans now can fortify that offensive line and do a number of things. They now have six picks in the top 76 of this draft. Let's talk about what the Titans were able to gather and pull in this hall with this trade with the Los Angeles Rams. Titans trade the first overall selection there fourth uh, round selection, 113th overall, and their sixth round selection, 177th overall, to the Los Angeles Rams. In exchange, they get the first round pick of the Los Angeles Rams, uh, 15th overall pick. The second round selections, both, remember, St. Louis Rams then traded Sam Bradford to the Philadelphia Eagles last year, acquiring a second round pick in this year's draft. So now the Los Angeles Rams hand over both of their second round selections 43rd and 45th overall, the Titans get both of those second round picks in addition to them having the 33rd pick in the draft. So three second round picks now for the Tennessee Titans. They also get the third round pick of the Los Angeles Rams this year, the 76th pick in the draft. Next year's first round pick from the Los Angeles Rams goes to the Tennessee Titans as well, in addition to their third round selection next year. So it's a huge haul for the Tennessee Titans. And that's what you expect when a team comes all the way from 15 to the number one overall selection in the draft. They're going to have to give up King's Ransom, and that's exactly what the Los Angeles Rams did. Let's talk about what this means for the Titans. Titans are going to get a bunch of good football players right away. I think they're going to fortify that offensive line. I think they're going to help fix that defense. They're going to do a number of things that is going to change the way this team looks. You know what this trade reminds me of? And I'm not saying this is what's going to happen, but remember the great trade robbery of 1989 when the Dallas Cowboys and Jimmy Johnson came in, Jerry Jones comes in, they trade away Herschel Walker, the only good football player that the Cowboys have at the time and they get a bunch of picks in return. And that was the basis, the foundation for that great run that the Cowboys had in the early and mid 90s with Emmitt Smith and Troy Aikman and Michael Irvin and the triplets. And all of those good football players they got on the defensive side of football, the trade, the great trade robbery of 89 was the basis for that. You look at the Titans and what they can get from this, this draft now because of what they've done, and even next year with two first round picks they're gonna have at their disposal, this could change the face of the Tennessee Titans franchise for years to come. This is a huge, monumentally huge trade for the Tennessee Titans. You look at it from the Los Angeles Rams perspective, they need a quarterback. They've needed a quarterback for a very long time. This defense is ready to go right now. This is a playoff caliber defense. They've got a running back that can put this team on its back. We saw that last year. Despite not having a lot of weapons, despite having Case Keenum at quarterback, Todd Gurley willed this team to a few victories last year. You put a competent quarterback under center. They've got a young offensive line in St. Louis that's going to grow with that quarterback that they're going to select, that you've got to assume that they're going to select 
at number one, which is why you come up from 15 to one. You come up to get a quarterback. Rams are going to select a quarterback. Now the question is, who are they going to select with that first overall selection? Would it be Carson Wentz or will it be Jared Goff? I think it's Carson Wentz. They're looking for the athletic mobile guy that can move around in a division where the defenses are very athletic and fast. You need a quarterback that can protect himself and also move with his legs when things break down. I think they're coming to get Carson Wentz. He's the prototypical number one overall pick, if you ask me. But a lot of people talk about Jared Goff and his smarts and how they love what he brings to the table. So we'll see what the Rams have in mind. But I tell you this much, this is a win-win for both teams. The Rams needed to get their guy. You know my mantra, you know my motto. Get your guy when you feel the need to get your guy. And obviously, the Rams fell in love with the quarterback at the top of the draft and now they're going to go and get their guy at number one gave up a lot for him but they've got a defense that's ready they've got a lot of pieces on the offensive side of the football they're going to be able to get their quarterback they're going to have to still get a receiver at some point don't know when that's going to occur but right now that's not important they're going to get a quarterback and in this league if you don't have a quarterback you don't have a chance the Rams have found that out over the last five years. They're finally going to get their quarterback. Now let's see what they do with it. Huge trade in the National Football League. What do you guys think about this trade? It's massive. It's going to change the face of the game for the Tennessee Titans. It's going to change the face of the franchise for the new Los Angeles franchise, the Rams. Let's see how this trade works out for both teams going to be a lot of discussion going forward as we near the 2016 NFL Draft. What do you think about this trade? It's massive. Reminds me a lot of the Ricky Williams trade. Literally trading away your whole draft for one player. That's what the Rams have essentially done here. We'll see what they do with the picks that they do have left in this draft. But we know one thing for certain. They're coming away with the quarterback. The Titans are going to get a bunch of good football players. This is a hell of a trade. What do you guys think? Come and talk to your boy. See you later. Huge trade in the NFL. Titans, out of number one. Rams, getting a quarterback at number one in the 2016 NFL Draft. There's plenty more where that came from. While you're here, subscribe to the channel. If you want more Louis T, be sure to follow me on Twitter, at In The Lab Room, or you can like the Facebook page at In The Lab Room. That's In The Lab Room on Facebook and at in the lab room on Twitter. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so.